Hello, hi. Um, we're not gonna comment on my hair because I hate it and we're pretending it doesn't exist. But this is the start of a reading vlog for a very exciting new anticipated release, which is The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. I'm doing this for the Caffeine Book Tours book tour for this book. Um, thank you to Caffeine Book Tours and also the publisher Orbit Books for giving me a e-arc to enjoy. It's been a really long time since I've read a book on a Kindle. I think I've explained this to before, but I haven't been reading books on my Kindle because I spend all day, every day, staring at a screen for school and work. So it's going to be a little difficult for me, but I'm really excited to read this book. I'm so excited to participate in this tour. I have, I think, under a week left to finish this book, and it's a little bit of a lengthy book. So we're gonna get started and make as much progress as possible before this video has to go up. information from the text. this was a necessary update to the vlog even though my camera battery is dying in a couple days and I started reading the book on the Kindle as you saw but very exciting I just got the physical copy in the mail so I'm super excited and I will get started on this later tonight yay hi sorry if I look a little crusty I'm not having the greatest morning if I'm being honest but I did want to check in because last night I read to about page 120 I just finished part one and it's awesome. I am really enjoying this book so far. One of the things that I appreciate most is that it's pretty, I don't know if it's like high high fantasy, like everything is unfamiliar to us, but it's a high enough fantasy that I was really worried that I was going to get lost a lot at some points. But I'm finding that the pacing along with the exposition and the explanation of the current political climate is really really working for me. I don't feel lost in any way and I'm actually very intrigued by the story. Like I wanted to read more last night but I was exhausted by the time I actually had time to read. So I didn't get to read as much. So I would like to read more of this because yeah, I'm just really interested. I guess I should start off with a quick synopsis of what I do know right now. So this book follows two characters, the first character being Terrain, who was essentially stolen as a child to become part of the Baladiran army, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And she's in a regiment or a brigade, I don't know what the exact name is, but she's in a, a, a group of soldiers who are all also stolen from the kind of native land. And her goal right now actually is to have her like brigade become the, the, the military brigade that is stationed there, stationed in their essentially homeland because that means that they can 
be the military presence required um, in, in their homeland, but not be the same brutal military presence that um, their people have experienced. And the other side of the story is Luca, who's actually the princess. She's actually disabled, which I didn't catch on to very quickly. And she is really trying to prove herself. I think her main motivation is ending the war that's currently going on. And the word used on the back of the book is a turncoat. Um, essentially someone who is working for her, but can assimilate and be a spy on the other side so that she gets information from the other side, so the rebels. Um, and yeah, it's just really exciting. I really like the writing style. Again, I think the pacing is working really, really well for me, especially despite it being a war heavy, high fantasy novel. I am not struggling with it all. In fact, I'm really excited to read it. So yeah, I will check in with you guys again when I have read a little bit more. Hello. So it's Friday, March 26, about p.m. I think right now. So last night I got up to about page 250 and then I just finished part 3 and I realized I haven't really been giving any updates so yeah this is really fun so far like I said in the when I started reading it um, the pacing's really nice and it kind of reads like a really good TV show where the pacing again is good and you're really interested and there's a lot of intrigue, political, personal, etc, etc. Um, I think the one word that I would use to really sell this book right now is sapphic. So, and yeah, again, like I said, it just, it reads really fun. It's a fun book to read. Um, I just haven't really haven't had the time to read, unfortunately. So, um, I'm going to try to finish this tonight. It's three days before this vlog is supposed to go up, so I'm going to try to finish this as soon as possible. Yeah, I will update you guys hopefully when I have finished reading it. Okay, so I haven't finished yet, but um, I just finished part three. And first of all, terrain is the definition of it's the thought that counts, but also it's not because she her heart is in a good place, but she keeps making these choices that ultimately fuck someone over. And most of the time it fucks over so much she cares about because at this point in the story she cares about a lot of people. It's, it's a little frustrating to read but I also really enjoy the fact that she is such a flawed main character. More of that in the literature. Um, I really enjoyed that in The Wolf of Oranyaro by K.S. Vioso. I'm really enjoying it in here as well. Um, so I'm on to part four and things are coming to a head. This is the first book of a series which I don't know if I've mentioned yet. So things are not going to wrap up super neatly, I'm expecting, in this book, but I'm looking forward to see how it all culminates um, and sets a precedent for the next book. And yes, I hope next time I check in, that'll be the end. Okay, bye. Hello, okay, so I just finished this. I really enjoyed it. There are a lot of, I think, holes in terms of plot and pacing that I won't go into because it is honestly nothing in comparison to the rest of the story. I think that the very complex political situation is very masterfully crafted. I mean there's good guys and there's bad guys but sometimes the good guys are bad guys and sometimes the bad guys are good guys and it's it's very entertaining and interesting like I mentioned in a previous update Turin is a very frustrating main character. Um, she's definitely a soldier at heart but she gets very emotional towards the latter half of the book when you know she starts connecting with more people and she's kind of lets go of that soldier identity. The progression for both of the main characters is really cool um, seeing their relationships with people around them develop as the story continues was also really great um, especially touring with the Kazali rebels um, or I think the Burgani I think are what the rebels are called but they're Kazali it makes more sense when you read the book. Just read the book. Yeah, I really enjoy this. I really recommend it as well, especially if you're a fan of politically complex high fantasies. It just explores so many stories and facets of war that I have an experience with a lot of other fantasy books. Um, and it just, it feels very rich without having to spend tons of time 
explaining every little detail of every little thing, which I really appreciate it as well. So yeah, um, that wraps up this vlog. Um, thank you again to Caffeine Book Tours and Orbit Books for providing me with this copy and for the opportunity to give you guys my thoughts on this book um, as part of the book tour. Again, I think this book is already out. So if you're interested, the paperback, it was released in paperback, so you can go grab it today. It's a chunky boy, but it's a fun, awesome read that I recommend. And yeah, otherwise, I don't have much else to say. Um, other than thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you had a good time reading this book with me. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.